system. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Ray Dolan live coming to you from Mullingar in Mullingar. We're in the green here today, and we're here with the famous gentleman, a legend from Mullingar. He was a famous boxer, and uh, he's here, and I'm in his house today, and I'm lucky enough to chat to him. Mr. Byrne, how's it going? Great, great, thanks. Uh, great, great. You're known as the Killer Byrne. Yeah. But yeah. how did you get the name the Killer Byrne? Oh, Jimmy Newman done that because we, we were at the juvenile. Right. We used to, I used to box a, a, a ball in a carry against Mullingar at that time. Right. St. Mary's. And it was a Nugent. He went on to be a priest after my father Nugent. But... Uh, Francis Eugene at that time. Right. And, uh, we used to murder one another. <laughs> we you murdered the priest now, or who would you murder? No, he was as a juvenile. He oh. Was, he was a, then he went on to be a priest. Right. So I don't know where he is now. So time. how did the killer, where did the killer then come from? Was it, it just was, that day or one of them days? It was coming from that because every time we boxed, we killed one another. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> we murdered one another. And then every fight that was in was the same thing. It was I fought from one round was the same as that. First one was the same as the last one. And tell or, me, did you have the killer punch or what? I had a killer punch, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, as yeah. May says, you're still very strong. Well, I'm still strong, yeah. Still yeah, you were, she says you were in for a checkup there recently and, and uh, the, the lady was asking to push forward and she couldn't believe your strength. She she put me out. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, how did you how did you get to Mullingar? You're from, where are you from originally? Or? Oh, I, I, was, I was born in, in Drummond. Right. Yeah, my father was on the railway. He was transferred from mm -hmm. Mullingar to... Um, or from Drummond to Mullingar, was it? Uh, yeah, from no, from Mullingar to Drummond. <coughs> right. And I was born down yeah, there. In Drummond? In Drummond, yeah. Uh, so then, when did you come to Mullingar then? You, you probably... I five or six, to, were you? Yeah, about that, yeah. Yeah. So did your father end up then, was he here, or was he working in the railway? Well, he was or a what railway, he was an engine driver at the time. Yeah. An engine driver. Yeah. So in Mullingar at that time, the railway was absolutely oh, was big time. Thing. Oh, big thing. Yeah. yeah. And the pencil factory uh, above and the and the, the camp army, field and, was and, it? And camp field and the army barracks. That yeah. was that was a great. Uh, there were great days. Great, as I say. great days. Great so days. The, the I'd say the station as I say all the cattle were brought into the station oh, yes. at that time. Now all those places are dead. It's oh, like, surely like, no. It's like a graveyard. It's yeah, hard. only guards like a graveyard now. Compared to what it was at that time. Really? Yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah. With plenty of activity and everybody knew everybody and everybody says good morning, good afternoon. Oh, it's it's very posh. There, it's huh? wet there. Everybody talked to one another that time. That's so true. Nobody, nobody was up and down now. The trees going into a hive. No, <laughs> no talk. No talk. <laughs> all the information, <laughs> all the YouTubes, and all the Facebook and everything, and still all no one's talking about All the old people is gone. Yeah. Ah well, I mean, yeah. the, the, as so I the said, new generations and generations, and that's they took over under the very quiet. <laughs> so tell me, going back to early days of Mullingar, yeah. what what did you get up to apart from boxing? Did you go? What was there? Well, fishing or was there? Well, there was fishing in there was fishing in Loch Ole and Loch Ennel, mm. and every there was a lot of boats and a lot of rowing and the engines had every yeah it was great and then you had uh, you had a soccer and the dog track every second Sunday in the Cusick Park you had matches in Cusick Park. Did you play a bit of football as well? I did play a bit of, bit of football. Then. Did you have a nickname for that killer than that one as well? No, no, no. There was no, no. I, I was, I was, wasn't a great one. But Sean Elf here now. Yeah. He did. Oh, is he? A, is he? No, he's the football end of it, is it? Well, he, Thanks, he, mate. He, he, no, he didn't play. That's football. lovely to from me. Yeah. There you are, me. Would you? Oh, would Hi, you? everybody. <laughs> there you are. That's the famous me and a legend she is too. Me, would you call him Eddie or do you call him the killer? Uh, we call him Eddie. Eddie is it what you call because him? Because when I first met him. Yeah. In uh, the Shandon in Romford. Yeah. Um, or oh, 1958 or something. Mm -hmm. um, he said his name was Eddie Byrne. Right. And then I hadn't met any of his family. Right. Um, we just introduced each other. Oh, lovely! Yeah. Yeah, we met in the um, in the Shandon, and uh, we were doing the Siege of Venice. Go on. And, uh, and is he a good mover? Was he a good mover at that time? Was he, <laughs> he, he, was a he, he had <laughs> asked somebody else out and I was with somebody else. Okay. But we were talking to each other. and uh, Over it, their shoulders, huh? It, it, it all started from there. Very good. So, yeah. as I say, he was a good waltzer and a good a dancer. Yes, uh, we both had that in common. Mm. We loved the dancing, loved the music. 
Mm. And um, you had a great story the, about your sister and a competition. Oh, Thelma, yes, uh, mm. that's Eddie's sister. Now, I I didn't know about this. I didn't even know about Mullingar because mm -hmm. I went to England very young, and um, it was years later I heard them saying that uh, there was a competition in the county hall, mm -hmm. and Thelma was singing, and Joe Dolan was singing. And um, anyway, uh, I don't know how they decided who was the winner. I think it was by clapping. That's right, yeah, the clapometer, and, uh, I believe. Big, uh, Joe got the biggest clap. Okay. And uh, he won the cup and Thelma won the, the, money. the, the money. money. I don't know what amount of money it was. <laughs> right. But I think that's in his story, in Th his book. That's correct, yeah. Uh, he wanted the money and... and, and, and he yeah, but he cup. said later <laughs> yeah, that, that he would have preferred to have the money. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> the money was, but the thing about it was, and that's very funny, but the cup is still in Uncle Paddy's house. So the cup lasted longer... Than the really? Money. Yeah. Oh, Paddy. So, oh, I knew Paddy well. Used to dance with Paddy and was the Paddy, Greville. And was Paddy a good dancer, was he? He yeah. was great, mm. you know, and uh, he came on holidays uh, to Killarney with us one time. That's with right. the Buckleys and the, uh, the, the Bentics and the Lynches and ourselves mm -hmm. and, and Paddy. And oh, he was a great sport. Oh, he was very great, funny. Lovely man. Very funny. Lovely man. Well, and, I, I, and a great dancer. I believe so, yeah. yeah but, I mean, yeah. Dancer. You are a great dancer. And you still do. Do you dance now in the kitchen now, still? Uh, we don't. Not at the moment, no. <laughs> Slippy out there. No, uh, no, the dancing is out for the last two years. Right. Um, I, I fell and broke a bone in my hip, so I was grounded. Right. And he had a pacemaker in. <laughs> Uh, sometime later, right. So we're kind of grounded. We're handicapped, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and a lot of our friends um, lost their partners and mm -hmm. had illnesses. That's right. So yeah. that uh, that finished the dancing. Well, mate, you know so, what? You're looking great anyway, so, hip and all. Thank you very much. Absolutely <laughs> thriving. We lived but, in a great uh, time. You lived in a great time, is right. We did, and yeah. went on holidays to Benny Dom for years, and uh, had a wonderful time. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. And if it, I, can I talk this man? Is another man? I, I, when I walked yeah. into his house, there's a man called Sean Elliff. Yeah. Sean Elliff is another legend from Mullingar. Sean, you played a bit of football, or what? You do? Yeah, I played. Um, well, uh, junior played for the Free Thanks, Boys in Mullingar. Yeah, the Free Booters were formed in 1949. Well, the Free right. Brothers, the Free Booters. Oh, the Free Booters. Named after a great horse that won the national in '48. That was that was Millhouse. Yeah. And uh, Father Sean, the late Father Sean Hines, uh, nicknamed them, named them the Free Booters. Very good. And um, you were at Mass today, were you? Yes, and I, I, I hold the mark of uh, the ashes there. Yeah. Good yeah, man. I, I see you've an electric say. bike out there as well. I have indeed. Yeah, how's yeah. that going for you? Not bad. It's, it's, it, uh, I'm getting a little bit of short on it sometimes. The, the battery's a bit. Um, Does it save you um, going yes, up the hill? It, yeah, there's a bit I, of an engine on it, isn't it? I'd have passed uh, Phyllis Callan on the JLL and she says, You're cheating again. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> Phyllis Callahan, I'd love I'm to chat Nelly. to you someday on this. I like how she's on a high Nelly. She's on a high Nelly. She's and well, I'm on my battery bag. And you can pass her waving, going, yeah. the engine going up Jail Hill. Yeah. Yeah. And high Nelly's a great at that High Nelly's. Yeah. So tell me, you were involved in the football end of Mullingar, were you? That was your thing when you were growing up, was that right? Uh, yeah, and uh, of course I remember Blackhall distinctly, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Benny Gollum was our next door neighbours. Ah, right. Weavers and Kelly's in the Beaton House Lane. And uh, we played cowboys and Indians up till 14, believe in Santa Claus. We used to throw stones at us. Used to throw stones. Yeah. 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 Was Kinner now? Was he in another oh, no, gang? Was he? Another gang. Oh, yeah, Dawson right. Friars. Yeah. They, yeah. We, we raided them a few times. We, yeah. we, when we crossed the River Brust, it was like the River Ganges. <laughs> <laughs> And with Sean Nothing, he was the leader of the and pack. It was, a, it was the Second World War. <laughs> it was the Second World War. I remember Sean getting a cut of class and he was been 
brought around by the gang in a real little trolley and a four wheels on it. Saving know. his life. But huh? he was still the boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure the enough. leader head on. At that yeah. time, even when I was younger as well, we did have mm. gangs in the yeah. town. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, not yeah, gangs, yeah. but I mean, there were no. sort of like one no. area yeah. and that area and that area. And then and, things uh, changed sort of yeah. dramatically and, then, and, you know. And Billy Dolan and I were running oh, yeah. a message of voice for that for Mount Street gang. All right, she'd yeah. send them and say, look, lads. Yeah. We're here to tell the story. That's right. Yeah. yeah the and there was the characters called Blackie Delaney and yeah. uh, Jim Burke. Kick Caroon. Yeah. Kick Caroon. Oh, well, they came from, uh, they were from Grange area. Oh, but they were from out the country, I'd say. Yeah, nearly but so. I call it a, we, we in a strong gang. We could take on Patrick Street <laughs> and Austin Friars. And they, all this is, they're all lies. It's a terrible lie. Look, I'm going to go back. Thanks, Sean. I'm going to go back here to <laughs> the killer born. Now we're going back to the boxing killer. Yeah. So I mean, this is where, as I say, I would have known you, especially from. Um, I would have done a bit of boxing myself, and I'd asked for yeah. about a month and a half because my nose kept bleeding, yeah, yeah. and that was up in the the barracks at that right, stage. Yes. But you were saying when you went, so you boxed for Ireland over the years, yeah. um, and you boxed you even actually came from England yes. to box for Ireland. You were living that, in England yeah. at that time. That, I lived. I lived in England and boxed for <coughs> boxed for Hornchurch and a boxer. No, it was different and areas in, 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 in and the many times did you box for Ireland then? Oh, half of it. Half of it, Luke. Can't Luke. think far, back that far. No, no, maybe ten times. So ten times. Yeah. And at that maybe stage, maybe. there was no funds for anyone boxing. I mean, literally, it was out of your own pocket <coughs> that you. S- no, well, I tell you, it was there was the collect the money was collected. Mm-hmm. Father Derby, Father Mulvin. They, they started the boxing and mm. the money and they go back in the 40s. Right. And that's where it all started. And then you had Jack Lynham, he was training Kip Cole and they and had professional boxing. Oh, all right. And, and, and it started out from there. And tell me, you were telling me that you were watching the, the kit, was a kid called um, training? training. Yeah. In where was it? Where was he training? In the, yeah, in the market house. We, the market used, house. we used to look across at the, from, the, from the, the Hibernian Bank. Cross look at it because we, we, we were so young, we wouldn't let us in. We, in the, Jimmy Maldoni wouldn't let us in. Right. In, in, and we used to look across it, look in, in through the windows, oh, and see it all. Watching this man the, across the road, yeah. But uh, he was very good. Chris Corden was very good. It's just right. But Mul- Mullingar was a great boxing town that time. Mm. And uh, it's, um, then the, the priests, Father Dermody and Father Mulvin, they started the, the boxing. So you, I remember, did you box outside the town? Where did you go as well? Oh, we did. We boxed. Well, we boxed in the stadium. Mm-hmm. We boxed there at Juvenile Championships. We boxed in the Leicester Championships. Wow. And we boxed there in the... We did. And we boxed international then. No, but we had, we had a great boxing team here. Going back from Jack Lynham started it, going back. He was come from Australia and he started the boxing. Then Chris Cole. And that's where the boxing started then. The, the history of it, like. I remember you saying you go to Ballinacarry, you get great news, was that right? We, we used to go to Ballinacarry, and we all loved to go to Ballinacarry. We didn't give a damn <laughs> how we got on. How, how we got on, whether we won or not. And we, we, had those, uh, we had a great, we had a great team that time. Ballinacarry had a great team. Do you remember any of the lads in the team at that time? Do you? Oh, uh, who was on it? it was Father Stewart. He was Father Stewart. Was he boxing? Frankie Nugent. Or Frankie Nugent. 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 Yeah. Father Stewart has something to do with it. That Frankie time. Newman boxing that, no? no Newman, no, that was no. later on, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, Does oh, it you, had, you, you, had, you had a great club that time. You had mm. from source, four stone to heavyweight. And Ballon and Carrie, you had the same, four stone to heavyweight. And then you had the Leicester Championship, Juvenile, and you had the Leicester Junior Championship, and you had the Leicester Junior Senior Championship. And then, all the way, then you had to box in the Le- Irish Championship. Which held at the National Stadium. It was wow. box that was big that time. And tell me, did you box at all the weights? I did box, yeah, from from, from four stone up to middle way. Four stone. What is your four stone? Four stone. Four stone. Four stone. I was only about eight year old or something. All right. Yeah, so you yeah. started that quick or yeah. that early. Yeah. And then did you were you heavyweight then when you sort of came to the end of your career? Oh, middle weight. Middle weight. Middle weight. That's yeah. up bro, twelve stone. Is Cruiser weight, yeah. Cruiser with. Oh, another question for you. Cruiser, do you remember the Cruiser? Cruiser Kelly was a great performer and a great trainer as well. Really? And a character. Go on. Come on. Yeah, he was. He was. The Cruiser. And I... a great worker. Go on. He was. He worked at the buildings and all that, you know. But he was a great, had a great personality. I remember the Cruiser drinking in our pub, right? Yeah. That's but right. at that stage, he got his uh, voice box out, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. And um, he was a great singer. 
Go on. Oh, there was a great singer, he was, yeah. And even by him not talking, there was a great uh, he presence about him. He never learned the levity. <laughs> really? <laughs> Something you didn't even know. Yeah. And he was a great big man. I always remember the shoulders on him. Oh, he was. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah was, and hands, he'd read big hands yeah, as well, yeah. you know. Oh, well, he's, he's about six foot six. Yeah. yeah. What a great and character. His, his brother, Eddie, Flash, better known Flash, Flash Kelly. Flash, Flash Kelly, yeah. yeah. And he was married to a farrel, and uh, they were two fine looking men. Right? Yeah. He, would have, um, he would have lived in England then for a while, oh, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, and uh, he they were uh, in the Black Hall, we, we, they were named, well, well, that end of Black Hall is called Grove yeah. Street. Right. Yeah, yeah. The Kellys, the farrels. And uh, with us and Lucy's. Right. The four houses there. Were they part of your gang? No, they'd be senior to us. Do you know what I mean? He lived in Black Hall. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Black Hall was. Uh, so, uh, any other characters that was um, famous for boxing, as I say, that there was. M McCullough was. Mr. McCullough yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, Max. Maxie had a big influence on a lot as well. Yeah, he done a lot of training, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, but he, 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 he boxed for Corinthians. He boxed all done all his boxing in Dublin. Oh, right. then he, Well, he went from the army. He was in the army here. Right. And he, he, he went from there to Dublin. Brilliant. I think he worked in the, he won the Europe, he worked in the buses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oslo. Oh, really? For Ireland? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, European champion. Yeah. Wow. He was paraded from, <coughs> from Mullingar, from the, from the railway station down to the Dublin Bridge on a horseback. Go on. And people yeah. remember that now distinctly. Yeah, yeah paraded. Amazing. And it was great on to win the title in Europe as well. Yeah. He was very good. So literally going back all them years, lads, we had international boxers in Mullingar. And we had Chris Cole. He was boxed. Chris Cole, yeah. He boxed the... Uh, Jack Dyle. Wow. Uh, Irish, he was Irish champion. He knocked out the dogs back in 1950, <coughs> I think it was that. He beat, he beat um, Jack Dyle in Up and Denny Park in mm. 1941 and 1942. Yeah. Wow, 1942. Yeah. Well, anyway, lads, look, thanks a million for the chat and I appreciate it. We're going live well, here. Was the great, was the great, Money Guy was the great boxing town that time. Mm. You know, and, uh, Louis McCullough was a great trainer. Oh, wow. Amateur <coughs> Boxing Association of Ireland. I just plug, take pictures of these folks. I just turn this around. I just and do it this way. It's worth mentioning the that they said that when Kit yeah. Cole, uh, Cole hit the bank in the Market Square, he said, the town clock never went right after the you yeah. know what I mean? He knocked it off his joint. Out the power. <laughs> this was Kit Cole, yeah? yeah? This is legendary stuff. Legendary stuff. Well, look, folks, we're going to wrap it up here, but I have uh, loads of people who are saying hello and the whole lot, and we'll get back to you. But I have a load of pictures here, and I'm just going to show them off of the famous killer and uh, some of the amateur um, pictures as well that he had. I can tell you, he's a fine man here. We're going down here. This one here is, uh, this is the Amateur Irish Box Association, Westmead County Council. You can read that, folks, and that's another fantastic, was a club winner of the youth wow and look, look at them here look at this the girls will be all looking at this one on me how would you show them pictures off yeah. the killer huh <laughs> there is an action and here's another one here of the irish boxing association westmead county board uh, st mary's boxing club winner of the youth in the 1950 huh in february Jim, the lads were very close to it yeah and here he is here as i said was that the time we went to england or before you went to england no, uh, that, killer. That was in England. That was in England, all right. Yeah. That's the Lonsdale. Lonsdale Look at the back. hair gel back. He's mm. rock and roller. How huh? no mm. messing with that lad? That's, and that's, then this guy here on the left. Who's this guy? That's Maxim. Oh, that's, that's Maxim McCullough. McCullough. That's the man that boxed for Ireland yeah. in, in Oslo, yeah. yeah. Maxim McCullough, yeah. yes, and the European champion. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. And Maxi was great. Absolute. Well, look, we're going to let the. We're going to let her off here and turn her around again on the camera. So look, we'll just say goodbye to everyone. Yeah. And thank you very much for looking in. Yeah. This is me. And this is Eddie. Yeah. And we have Mr. Sean. Sean on the left, as I say. Yeah. And this is, uh, these are legends, ladies and gentlemen, from Westmead, in Westmead, or from Monagar in Monagar. So good luck to you all. And I wish us a fantastic Valentine's Day. Yeah. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>